Good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, March 20, the first day of spring 2017. Our 1959 17-foot Chris Craft Sportsman is coming very close to passing a major milestone. We have just finished applying the fourth coat of Interlux 2000E Epoxy Barrier Coat. We have one more to go, and at that point, uh, we can begin applying the, uh, the Pettit Hard Racing Bronze Anti-Fouling Paint. Again, we, we always apply five coats per the instructions provided by Interlux and also Don Dannenberg, who correctly stipulates that if you cut short on the 2000E after working so hard on the rest of the 5200 bottom, uh, in truth what you have is a shortcut bottom, one that will fail long before it should. So by not spending a couple of hundred dollars on paint and time, uh, what you get is a product that's going to deteriorate in a fraction of the time it otherwise would. Seems kind of a fool's errand to me. So we have applied the fourth coat as I said. Uh, we use a yellow foam roller like RJ has in his hand right there and he can talk to you about uh, how quickly you have to be before the epoxy eats it up. Um, you have to move pretty quick. I can, I usually brush in each seam as I go down through. Uh, before I roll it, make sure that I get a nice coat on each seam. Um, and then I roll it out. By the time I get up down about half the boat, my roller cover is starting to just shot from the cardboard. So. Right. But we've tried brushing it, and in truth, the, uh, you just don't achieve the smooth coat that you do with the roller. And uh, this paint is not to be sanded. So it's only going to be as smooth as you've applied it, or let me back up one, as you've pre prepared the uh, planking beneath it. If you do a sloppy job of preparing the planking, you're going to end up with a sloppy bottom. So. That's where we are on the 1959 Chris Craft 17 foot sportsman on Monday, March 20, first day of spring, and it truly is spring in Vermont today. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.